this video describes post-operative needling uh, for a fibro zen uh, with a fairly flat bleb. Uh, mitomycin uh, 0.5 milligrams per cc has already been injected just posterior to the bleb prior to needling. Uh, 27 gauge needle is used to pass under the subconscious space about three, two, three clock hours away from the zen implant here, which you can see here is in a supranasal quadrant. Uh, what we first visualize here is the Zen implant here. You can see it under the conjunctiva. The needle bevel is placed under the implant carefully and slid under the implant while then the needle is then swept toward the fornix. Uh, the slide and sweep technique uh, is used to cut uh, fibrotic tissue around the implant. There's the implant. You can see the needle bevel is under it, and now we basically sweep toward the fornix. This is a fairly vigorous uh, maneuver to ensure that we have cut fibrotic tissue around the implant. Uh, this is done numerous times, sweeping widely, uh, trying to get under the implant preferentially here to ensure we then release the uh, typical fibrotic web or uh, scar tissue overlying the implant. Uh, the goal here, of course, is to then ensure adequate flow emerging from the implant in the subcon space. We can actually see already we do see some elevation of conjunctiva with some fluid percolation now in the subcon space, accompanied with a reduction in IOP immediately after the needling uh, is already occurring. The needle is also attempted to be placed above the implant, just under the conjunctiva, uh, to again release any fibrotic tissue overlying the implant as well. And it's these underpass and overpass, so to speak, sliding the needle above and under the implant while sweeping toward the fornix here allows for then freedom of the implant. The implant actually is more free now and uh, it moves as well. Uh, you can really see a nice bleb forming here uh, with this technique. This is done at the slit lamp. Here I prefer not to use a speculum and we actually have a Q-tip in our hand to hold the lid away as well as to palpate the eye periodically. Uh, this continues to occur widening the subcon space distal to the implant uh, which really ensures we have a nice well-formed posterior bleb. Uh, the use of viscoelastic may be injected at this point uh, to further separate tissue and retain a bleb for the first few days. Typically, cohesive viscoelastic can be used to do this, uh, and this, along with the use of an antifibrotic, uh, can be helpful to ensure we have uh, good wound healing control. Uh, typically, postoperative topical steroids are used as well, vigorously for the first few weeks, as well as to control inflammation. At the end of the needling, the pressure drops typically into single digits and a bleb is nicely well formed.